Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here in the Midland Training Facility in Brown Hills and I am here for one really important reason and that is smart compaction. It's a big issue in the industry at the moment as we move towards a more productive and efficient way of working. But people think about technology that has to be put onto a machine like for example 3D machine control to get smart compaction working but I'm here with Mark who's the general manager for Dynapack and I'm here to have a look at this little symbol here and this machine here because this machine is actually seismic uh, and seismic is the new solution from Dynapack which actually has all of the technology inbuilt to the machine to make sure smart compaction's working, we get the right compaction, we don't under or over compact, and Mark's here to explain how it all works. Mark, tell me about Seismic, what, what is it? It's a new product, isn't it? Peter, yeah, Seismic is our new concept which we launched uh, earlier this year, and for the UK we'd hope to have a big launch at Hillhead, obviously with everything going on that's not happened, so it's great to be here to show this product to, to you and and to all our listeners. Seismic is a shift in moving away from having to continually monitor the data on the machine. Up to now, we've had different screens in the machine, uh, we've monitored what the machine is doing and we've watched it on the screen and the operator has then had to make a call. What Seismic does, it sits in the machine, the operator doesn't need to monitor it and as he's compacting, the machine automatically adjusts the frequency that's coming through the vibration on the drum to allow that to work in harmony with the material so that it's working at the natural frequency of the machine and the material together to get the optimal compaction in the fastest possible time. You've got something there next to you, uh, Mark. Could you grab it for us so that uh, we can have a look at that? What is that? This is the sensor that's mounted to the side of the drum so that as the machine is rolling, it's measuring the vibration that's going through the drum and the vibration that's going through the soil and how that's affecting the drum. And this device is converting that into a signal to the machine to allow it to move the weights which are inside the drum to change the frequency so that it changes the level of compaction to give you optimal compaction because as we found out through our research that the guys have done in Sweden in our technology centre is that as you compact the actual natural frequency of the material changes. So if you can get the machine to change the frequency of the vibration as the natural frequency of the ground changes, you then get better compaction, you get optimal compaction. And you even get to the stage that in some cases you can remove the last static passes that you generally do just to tidy up the top layer. So what that means, folks, is actually that smart compaction built into the machine. But also one of the things that we know, Mark, that needs to be done more on site is actually having data on the compaction and what the machine is actually doing. That is still needed, but understand you've got a telemetry system that allows people to get that information as well as knowing that the machine is doing the job, isn't it? We have a system called Dynalyzer, which is our recording system. So th this machine, as part of the seismic system, comes with a compaction meter built in. And all the machines that we bring into the UK, we bring in with the compaction meter in it. And the compaction meter gives a spot compaction so the operator can see what level of compaction he's getting. We then can move on to our Dynalyzer system, which is the next level up, which puts a monitor in the cab, it records the number of passes through a GPS antenna, it records the vibration going through the drum, so that you, you get all of that data. But Seismic sits off to the side of this. Seismic doesn't need to have that recording. The recording is great for after the fact and looking at it, but with that recording, you have to have someone that understands what they're seeing and someone that's able to act on it at the time. Otherwise, getting that information a week later and then going, ah, oh, we have an issue on site, means you've got to go back, you've got additional transport, you've got additional cost of remedials. Whereas with Seismic, it's automatically looking at that information and adjusting the vibration on the drum as it goes along to improve the level of compaction so that you get it right first time. I think that's really important, folks, because fundamentally, these particular machines are going to be used on all sorts of projects. And this is a kind of ideal solution for major projects like Highways England, HS2, etc., when compaction, because they know that the machine is doing that work for them. And they know they can have that data after the effect, and they know it's right. So they can just look to make sure that the GPS location is correct and that, that pass, those passes have been done. And so the next day that that can continue, can't it, Mark? It is getting it right first time so that you know that the information that you're looking at is correct. As we've seen, the, the operator is key in most operations. And you know, when you do the calibration on the recording systems, that calibration isn't 100%. 
then how do you know that your data is 100% without doing spot testing? And then you do the spot testing. Are the spots in the right place? We saw, for example, a job in Sweden where they did eight spot tests over 100 square meters and the spot tests were in the wrong bit. They said the compaction was perfect, but the bit with the tire tracks of the trucks that were coming in, it wasn't fully compacted. And that's the difference between the recording. It was only after the fact that they were able to go and say, hold on a minute, there's a problem here. This is going to give us a problem further down the line. We have to go back and correct it. Whereas with Seismic, that tries to eliminate that by ensuring that the machine is always working at its optimum level and getting that material to its optimum compaction. And the operator still has a little bit of control, even though the machine's doing most of it, because if the operator's finding that, we talked about the six passes before, that if he gets to the, the six passes or the eight passes and he's finding that it's still not reaching compaction, even without that data recording, the operator can say, hold on, there's an issue here. We need to investigate this a little bit further so that we understand what's going on and so that we can fix it before we have to leave site and then come back and prepare it later. And that's really important, folks, because smart compaction is about doing it once, doing it well, and making sure that the operator knows that they've done it and also has that confidence in the machine and their work. Because fundamentally, you know, that operator is responsible for all this, Mark. So you're giving the operator a real power in this machine to say, I've done it, I've done it well, we've done it in four passes, six passes, ten passes, whatever's needed. But the machine's told me that I've done it, I'm happy, there's less bounce around for me as well in the machine because I'm not over compacting. This is a great way in which to bring in a smart machine just when we need it, when smart compaction is coming really into the microscope. Mark, thanks very much for talking to me. You're welcome. Thank you, Peter.